So if you're struggling on how to make an image transparent on MacBook, don't worry. It's very simple. It takes less than two minutes to do on Mac and MacBook. And in this example, I'm going to be converting a logo image uh, to have a transparent background that I can overlay onto other images or even videos. Uh, I worked on a logo in a tutorial I made on how to create a logo for free earlier. Uh, in this video, I'll be using an Instagram uh, logo to do that. Uh, but if you'd like to see the other video I made on making uh, logos for free, click the link up above or the link in the description box uh, below. So obviously the first step that you're gonna wanna take is saving the image onto your MacBook or Mac background or desktop. So you're gonna open the image preview. You're gonna click on the markup toolbar above the image in the preview box. There it is right there. Uh, now you'll want to click on the instant alpha wand icon, uh, which is right over here. And you can use this tool to make a photo background transparent. Uh, this part can get a little tricky depending on the level of detail in your photo with logos. It tends to be less difficult since they don't have as much detail in them normally. Uh, but once this tool is selected, I will hold down my mouse button or press my finger down on the tracking pad for a MacBook over the area I want to delete in the photo. Um, while holding it down, you'll run your cursor over the image towards the logo or part of the image that you want to remain after the background is clear. As you do this, you'll see the red appear over the areas you will be deleting. As you move the cursor, this will adjust which parts of the image um, you are going to be actually deleting. Once you release your mouse or finger off the tracking, tracking pad, you will see an outline appear over the parts selected uh, that will be cut from the image. While the lines are still showing over the image, you'll want to either click edit at the very top of your screen, then select cut, uh, or for a faster way, you can click the command key plus X and that will cut out the background. After you do this, uh, you should see the background portion of the image disappear. Don't worry if you mess up, you can hit edit again, uh, then click undo or the command key plus Z uh, to reverse what you just did and to try again. And you can do that with pretty much everything on Mac, which is pretty good. Now you can also use the zoom in and zoom out tool to repeat the process over and over on the spaces that are left in order to have a completely clear background on your image. Um, but once you've completed this process, you'll have a really nice image that can be layered onto other projects, uh, other images or videos. Um, for the logo that I created in the tutorial, um, using this process is really nice because then I can add the logo onto really nice images to help promote my business or brand or uh, YouTube channel or whatever it is you're trying to accomplish with that. So I hope this tutorial helped you. I also have another guide for important items needed for YouTubers that most people don't think about. Um, it's a list of items that I wish someone would have told me about when I first started. Uh, things that you don't really think would be issues that all of a sudden kind of hit you in the face and prevent you from moving any further because you didn't think about, oh, you know, where am I going to store all these high uh, space taking video clips and images and text that I'm using for all my videos when I'm saving them all on my desktop or I don't have iCloud storage or anything like that. So check that out in the link up above or in the description box below. Don't forget to check out our website, cometcreator.com, where we'll be posting more content like and subscribe to the channel uh, where we'll also be posting more content in the future. Don't forget to check out our link to the who buys this item of the day. Um, so the hint is hands on, hands on. <laughs> so you don't want to miss that. The link is in the description box below. Check it out uh, and go view these things that we find on Amazon. And it's like who is reviewing these and then who's buying these. Uh, you got to check it out. Maybe it makes a nice stocking stuffer. <laughs>